If your hub is showing the unable to add accessory, the setup code is incorrect error, then the hub itself needs to be replaced. If you experience any of these other error messages listed below, then follow the steps in this troubleshooting video. Ensure your hub is in pairing mode by pressing and holding the P button on the back of the hub until you see a green light. Once the green light appears, you can let go and wait a couple seconds before it returns to flashing blue. Then open the Home app. Select the White House on the top left. Then select Home Settings. What you're searching for here is Home Hubs and Bridges, and then in there you should find your hub. Select it, and then select Remove Bridge from Home. Once the hub has been removed, make sure to click Done in the settings. and then hard close the app. Next, open up your phone settings. There, select the Wi-Fi. Check your Wi-Fi connections and make sure that your mobile device is connected to the proper 2.4 gigahertz connection. Then select the RA Pulse device that populates in there and select Add to Home and Wi-Fi. You'll be brought back into Home where you'll be asked to scan the QR code on the back of the hub. After scanning, select Add to Home. Then follow the prompts to add the hub to the home kit. If you previously had devices on the hub, make sure to click Continue to add them back in as well. Once the hub and shades are both added back into the Home app, you can go ahead and hard close it and open up your Automate Pulse 2 app. Select Login and then log in with your account credentials. Once logged in, you'll be met with a prompt saying New Hubs Detected in HomeKit. Select Yes to it, and then select your hub from the list. Ensure that the hub ID is the same. Once selected, it'll prompt you to select your time zone settings, and if those are correct, select Next. Success! Your new hub has been paired. Go ahead and click Pair Shades to select a new device to add, or click Done 